morning, Paradise Crew. What's up, guys? <laughs> it is 4.04. Um, our Uber, I believe, is pulling up right now. Um, Cullen is unfortunately over there still putting things in the suitcase. Um, but we got very little sleep tonight, last night. Um, and we'll just catch you at the airport because uh, they're waiting for us outside. We. So we'll see you there. Something funny happened. We were walking and someone on the, I guess the intercom, the announcements, they go, we're looking for a Cullen Welch. Cullen <laughs> Welch. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> If you didn't know, Alyssa's maiden name is Welch, and my first name is Cullen. So even though we go by Griffin and Alyssa, it was kind of cool that they were looking for a Cullen Welch. What? <laughs> okay, so we decided to walk instead of taking the tram because they are completely full, and I really have to pee, so I don't want to wait for the tram. And uh, I guess it's just going to be faster for us to walk from Terminal A to Terminal E. Um, Fellas getting video anyway. He said it's good for the vlog. So it's a good thing we like our exercise because we're walking. So we made it to the airport. Um, we got all the way through security with minimum issues. Someone forgot to take out his laptop. Well, here's the deal. So I have this camera back and I keep everything in it. And I personally don't like taking any of it out, not to slow anybody down, but nine out of ten times I've been stopped and they've gone through everything in it. So I figured, you know, why do any additional work for myself if they're going to end up opening up and go through it anyway, which is what they did. So save some time. At least did, for me. Didn't save time. Um, we got some coffee at Starbucks and now we are just waiting for our flight to board. Um, we actually have. We have about 20 minutes before they start boarding, so pretty good timing. Mm -hmm. um, you know the if you're missing, you say a fall. I will tell you what I am missing though, my toothbrush. Uh, so we are going to play this game of what did we forget because already it's the toothbrush and Cullen doesn't have his luggage tag. We have spares. So, that's two. <laughs> Anything else? No. taken off yet and you're playing games. <laughs> hey honey, where are we? We are in Puerto Rico. We're in Puerto Rico! Uh, Miramar, right? Yes, we are in Miramar, Puerto Rico. Miramar, we're not in San Juan right now. Not currently. Um, but, ooh, I am looking Pretty terrible. <laughs> we have been up for a very long time. It is almost three o'clock. We are waiting here in the lobby of our Airbnb. I guess it's technically a living room. Um, of our Airbnb so we can check into our room, get changed up, and go to the Bacardi factory. So that's what's happening right now. I'm going to hopefully look a little better than this, but it is definitely hot. Check out this place. How adorable is this? Okay, so there's a slight breeze out here, so I'm going to give you a small recap of what just happened. Um, we landed in Puerto Rico on time, but our plane taxied for about 15 minutes. I guess there was some extra traffic on uh, the air airstrip. Is that a word? An airstrip? Yeah. Um, so I thought we were going to be a little bit late. Uh, we also had to check, well not check, but, well I guess check, our bags because the plane was really full. So our bags were bigger than a lot of the other peoples that were boarding the plane. So of course they took our bags for free, we didn't have to pay for them. Um, but they put them under the plane and I just get nervous whenever we have to try to find our bags at the end of a flight, but the process went very quickly. I was super impressed. Uh, went over, got in line for a taxi. That line took really quickly. 
and what happened? Oh, we got a 15 passenger van for the two of us. <laughs> yeah. uh, I thought it was a little excessive, but uh, it's, you know, whatever. We, he got us here kind of safely. Um, we're all in one piece, although I had severe anxiety on the way here. Um, but yeah, that is what has happened so far. I'm not sure that we filmed a lot just because we're rushing around, but we will be sure to film the rest of this day for you. Just want to give you guys a sneak peek of what we're looking at. So this is the street. Look how gorgeous this house is. You guys want to see some cinematic B-roll of this place? Should I give it to him? I think you should give it to him. Real quick. We'll do a countdown or we should just jump right into just, it. Just do it. Cinematic B-roll, go! Give me a chance to make it right. Just let me touch you like the first time. We don't need answers to survive. Just let us keep on with the bad guys. With the bad guys. All right, we're looking for a black Kia Forte. He is our Uber. I think this is a one-way street, so I might be coming from that way. We are on our way to the Bacardi factory right. for our mixology class. It's going to be awesome. Um, we have to be there 30 minutes early to register and enjoy our welcome drink. So we yes. are going to do that. I'm super excited. Hello. Yes, sir. Good, how are you? What's up? Thank you. <laughs> more space? Yeah, that's much better. Oh, sweat. Body. What's up, Paradise Crew? We're about to get some booze. <laughs> Here we go. Here's some information for you guys. If you just want to take the tour, it's $15. You can get some room tasting for $50. We figured we would do the mixology tour. Why not for another $10? Learn how to make your own drinks. So let's go figure out where to check in and uh, get our welcome drink. Do you have Capsule points? No. Where do we go? Right over there. If you can tell, they'll give you Capsule points and everything you need for the tour. Oh, great. Well, Sweet. we will go back over here. Ready for two people, correct? Yes. Nice. These are your tokens. You can give these to the bartender. It'll make your drinks over at the bar. Okay. Nice. So they gave us our own cups. Our own Bacardi Puerto Rico cups. And they're legit. I, I gotta figure out how we're gonna pack this back. Well, keep it. well, no, we have to keep it. They're, they're plastic. Plastic? They're plastic. Oh. We're good. Okay, so I see you have the salt. Oh, you got the taco banana. So I suggest you try a tropical soda rice. Okay. It's made with the party cake. It's nice. You got the taco banana. Okay. That's what I want. I want. Well, well, there were there were two options. Oh, I want the sunrise one. You said. Okay, sunrise. Uh, the one with the passion fruit and the rum punch. Yeah, the rum punch. I'm the brand ambassador of okay. Bacardi Puerto Rico um, and I'm actually here today um, because uh, I was 
just with some press because we just relaunched our newest rums. All right. And then uh, they just tell me, uh, do you want the 430 mix on? I was like, yeah. <laughs> this is where I started. This right. This is where nice. I started. And I'm glad that it's just you two, so it's much more private. It's yeah. much more personal for you guys. So I'm going to make sure everything that I learned in the cocktail world, you guys are going to learn. What? Today. <laughs> you got this thing on? We have a private VIP tour right now. <laughs> With right. Christian, the ambassador of Bacardi. What? All right, guys. So, to explain a little bit about what's the cocktail world. Now, it's, it's not about, you know, vodka and cranberry juice or rum and Coca-Cola. There's a bigger world, you know, than that. Have you guys gone to La Factoria yet? No. Uh, all right, well, I'm glad the camera's on, right? The camera's, on, right? It, the camera's yeah, on. La Factoria is one of the top 50 bars in the world, awarded by the Spirit Awards. It's where they filmed Despacito, the inside parts. Oh, the nice. Parts. Um, it's in Calle San Sebastián and Old San Juan. There, that's a bar where they're using ingredients from ginger to basil to habanero to chocolate. Oh, wow. To pair with rums, vodka, whiskey, you know, their own handcrafted cocktails, right? And that's the world you guys are going to learn about in this mixology session. The original cocktails that created that world, which was the mojito, the daiquiri, the guadalibre by the time. Those were the original three that created this world that we're in right now. Huh. So, and then, you know, after you do this session, when you go to La Factoria, that's where you go for like, man, we just started from the past cocktails. Now this is the future. You know, these ingredients, because back then, the mojito was a weird cocktail to me. Yeah. But now it's totally normal. It's something that we, we, we drink every day in every bar they serve a mojito, right? Yeah. Same thing with the cocktails that we make today, right? Like one of my personal favorite cocktails um, that actually was a winner of one of the biggest cocktail competitions called the Bacardi Legacy. Bacardi Eight Years. Um, Yellow Chaudreuil, which is a French liqueur, homemade French uh, vanilla syrup, um, fresh lime juice and Greek yogurt. Sounds weird yeah. at first, yeah. but it's a real cocktail. And out of 10,000 bartenders, it was the cocktail it that was won. The cocktail. the cocktail, right? Are we gonna taste that today? Well, no. Oh. We, have to go to the we have to go to the Netherlands. All right. All right. All right. So what we're looking at over here on the right, this is the important stuff. The building over there in the right side of the corner, it's called the blending facility. This is where our master blender, Joe Gomez, actually does his um, crafting, his craftsmanship. So. This is where we do 85% of the Bacardi rum sold worldwide, right? Joe Gomez is the man in charge of crafting okay. that rum for 85% of the world. Just one man. But don't say that to him because he'll say I'm just part of the team. <laughs> and the gentleman that's walking over there with the blue long sleeve shirt that has the glasses, it's Joe Gomez's apprentice. He is the future master blender. Wow. So if you think about it, they're like bartenders, but for rum. They're the yeah. ones that, that are making the rum, right? Joe Gomez is, is, is my mentor as well, because he's not only just mentors for his apprentices for future master blenders, but also for ambassadors out there as well. So you can say he's, he's Joe Gomez is like the priest, and uh, or it sounds better like this. Joe Gomez is God, okay, and we're the priests that express the love of God right. in churches. And that's what we do, pretty much, right? <laughs> it's yes. exactly like that. This is why we have a cathedral. <laughs> that's what we call the Cathedral of Rum. Get in eight years would take us 20 years in Scotland. What we make in 23 years here can take from 46 to 50 years in Scotland. See the difference right there? Yeah. It's almost three times as fast. As fast. Uh, as fast. So, um, all these different ages that we have are gonna give you different notes from that um, heavy body rum, which is 85% of alcohol, and the light body rum, which is 99% of alcohol, right? All right. Are you excited? I am so pumped. <laughs> I'm excited. I cut off my head, but yeah. I'm, I I'm, keep cutting up everyone's <laughs> head, so. Cool so to give you guys a, a good feeling of what's around you. So these photos are old photos of the 1930s to 50s of nice. one of the best bars in Cuba called the Baralia Edificio, um, which was a VIP bar. 
where um, you had celebrities from those times, um, singers, um, business people going to this bar during Prohibition hmm. to just drink, right? One perfect. All right, so for the daiquiri, normally when you go to New Orleans, there's a lot of frozen daiquiris, a lot of different flavored daiquiris, right? The original, 1898, it's not frozen, it's hand shaken. The Rio daiquiri is shaken. I don't think I've had a shaken daiquiri. Oh, it's always the but first time for everything, yeah. right? I have one just now. No, at the, at the front. At the, at the bar? Wanna move on feet now. I wanna drink my wine. Feeling that vibe. We're so alive. Is that me and you now? Let me smoke that pipe. It. You don't even add ice to it. No. Wow. This is so much better than we made at home. <laughs> yeah. Because we've never made We tried to home. make some drink at home. At we we're checking in. We just had like an amazing tour. <laughs> it was the it best was, tour ever. It was so fun. <laughs> we're, we're at Bacardi Factory and we want to do a quick little recap and I'm sure we'll do another one. Yes. But like we had four drinks, full drinks. We had a only what, four. Only <laughs> four. Like had more than it that. was crazy. Yeah. But all the drinks are so good. So, so it's good. such an amazing time. Christian, our uh, our tour guy, was Who amazing. Is the brand ambassador. Yeah. Of Bacardi. Brand ambassador. Now, if he's watching this video, he's gonna be like, "I'm not. I'm not the master." But the dude, you're a freaking master. He's dude. like a master. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I go. Just no. You're, go, ahead. go ahead. Okay. Crushed it. Like like super funny. Super personable. Um, I know the camera's shaking, we got music in the background, the wind might be blowing, but we just had the five stars, five out of five. Really so fun. I don't know how we plan on editing this vlog um, <laughs> or this video, but I tried to film as much of the knowledge that Christian was bringing as possible. So interesting to learn how the rum is actually made, yeah. and how it's aged, and how you use it in different cocktails. And it, it just, it's just mind blowing to me. So yeah. it, we had a lot of fun. He's very entertaining. Um, I definitely recommend you booking this tour as the mixology class if you are interested in any type of um, liquor or rum yeah. or. If you just want to know the science. The, 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 yeah, the science behind everything, I would highly recommend this. Yeah. It is so much fun, so entertaining, so informative. Yeah, informative, entertaining, like, like the key word, like infotainment. Like, like it is 100% a highly recommended excursion before going on the actual cruise. Cause we're here a day early. So right now I think we're gonna try to figure out what we're gonna do next. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna drink the rest of my She's mojito. gonna drink her mojito. <laughs> okay, so, so let's just count the drinks real quick. There was a, a Bacardi Sunrise, right? From the beginning? Oh, you had the Tropical Sunrise. Tropical Sunrise. And I had a rum punch. Rum punch. So that was our welcome drink. That's welcome drink one. Okay. So then after that, since we took the mixology class, we learned how to make three different drinks. Three different drinks. Um, I didn't finish the second one, but I did finish the first one. So it, yeah. it is four drinks total. Um, you're not required to finish all of them. Right, we couldn't finish them. Um, if you can, I mean, good, uh, good for you. <laughs> if you can, you are a boss. <laughs> um, but they are delicious, excellent, um, high quality. Definitely recommend it. So good. So. If, this, if the music's too loud and I review this clip and I find out it's too loud, we'll just do another review in the room, but it's so fun. What's up, Paradise Crew? We are laying in bed at the Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're a little exhausted, but like we're still committed to getting so, you guys awesome content. We're actually about to go out and get some grub. I'm so, so hungry. Yeah, we're hungry. We've had very little to eat all day. What time is it? It's 7.17, and we're in Puerto Rico. We're gonna get some, what, some ceviche? Um, yeah, I think it's, I want to say it's a food truck, so we'll find out when we get there, but it's called ceviche. We're going to get ceviche from a food truck. <laughs> no, we're not getting ceviche. Oh. It's called ceviche by Toti. Gotcha. And uh, we're going to get some Caribbean food. Okay. And then the purpose of us going there is there is a convenience store next door. I still need a toothbrush because I forgot mine. So we are hopefully going to find one there, and if not, then... 
I so guess I'm gonna get one tomorrow. So out loud, it sounds like we're getting ceviche <laughs> from a food truck because it's located near a convenience store so she can get a toothbrush. <laughs> sounds about right to me. <laughs> Oh man, no, I'm sure the food truck's gonna be dope. Um, it's local. It has good reviews. It has great reviews. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go check it out for you guys. So if you're ever in the area, uh, we're, we're in Miramar? We're in Miramar. We're in Miramar, um, San Juan, old San Juan. It's like 10 minutes away. So mm -hmm. you guys will see that later on. But we're done talking, I think. Let's go get some food. Let's get some food. So the next time you guys will see us, we'll probably get some food. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Right. Guess what? We found a toothbrush. Oh. Yes. We had to ask for it because it was behind the counter. But three dollars. It was three dollars. <laughs> Actually, that's not too bad for yeah. a toothbrush. That's so. This one? Yeah. With no battery. <laughs> uh, the one with the battery cost like six bucks, so it's not too bad. Um, but we are right outside of the food truck, Ceviche by Tot. Really excited about the food, smells great. Um, it's parked right outside of this convenience store, 24 so 7. <laughs> Um, excellent location. In walking distance, it took us what? Oh, hello. A little light. A little Give light. Me some light. Yeah, a little too much light. Too much light. Yeah, way too much light. Um, but it took us what? About three minutes to walk here from our Airbnb. Super excited about it. Um, like I said, we are starving, so yeah, way too much light. Um, we'll let you know how the food is. Yes. What do we have? Oh, oh, yum. All right, all right, camera. Let's focus. All right. So we have. Oh, the table moved back. All right. So we ordered the combo, which includes what? Ceviche, fried fish. Um, Testones in the plate one, and then fried yuca fries. Yuca, yuca fries. In plate two. Come on, focus. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. All right, yuca fries here. Testones. Testones. It's a fried plantain. Yes, it is. Mm. They're good. <laughs> they are good. And the ceviche. It's really good. <laughs> Excellent choice. Um, feeling like a local. Feeling like a local. So I think this is where we are going to close the video for today. Okay. It is almost 9 p.m. We are exhausted. Exhausted. Uh, been up, like we said, since 3.30. And we need some sleep. Need some sleep because we got a rock star day tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks for watching our pre cruise vlog. Heck yeah. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Mm. And if you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you care, please share. We'll see you in Paradise. Peace.